smashing. Hey guys, so I wanted to walk you through using uh, one of the new things that I made. Uh, you know, the pineapple series of tools. Um, I wanted to show you the uh, pineapple light version, and this is a virtual machine. I've already got the ISO downloaded, or I've already got the ISO loaded in here to boot from. So we're going to boot it up. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, so right here, and this is what you would see whenever you were booting from the uh, disk. If you had burnt this to a disk or if you uh, put this on a flash drive, this is what you would see. Um, as you can see at the top, you can press Control, Delete to reboot your computer. You've got C tools. Um, it's not just for Seagate brand hard drives. You can actually test any brand of hard drive uh, with this tool. Um, it will show you the serial number, size. You can run smart test full and a, and a uh, full diag on any brand of hard drive. Um, the Memtest 86, and even on their website, on the Memtest 86 website, it actually states that it can test up to two terabytes of RAM um, with the latest edition so that can test and I highly doubt anybody any one of you have, have more than two terabytes of RAM and if you do then you're awesome um, AVG virus scan AVG is extremely extremely popular tons of people love it um, they have a boot disk and uh, it's also update. We can run updates. Kaspersky, huge, huge name. Um, offline NT password and registry editor. So you can reset passwords and a uh, free partition wizard. So I'm going to show you what each one of these looks like. Whenever it comes up, you'll see the little license agreement. You just hit accept. Now, again, this is a virtual machine, so no hard drives are listed because it's a virtual machine. But uh, ideally, you would click on the hard drive and you would go up here and you could select what test you want to run, either a short test or a full test. And it will actually show you right in here, it will show you if the um, smart settings are enabled it will show you if the smart settings have been tripped and you can also choose to run a long test to fully test uh, a hard drive which is really really nice so we're back to our menu mem test 86 as soon as you select it you'll get the screen here you can either choose fail safe mode or multi threading mode It'll automatically start running into test. I've got two gigs of RAM uh, allocated to this, so of course it's not going to actually test any real RAM. It's just testing some RAM I allocated to this. But you can see how that works and runs. Okay, we're back at the menu now. Let me show you AVG how it looks. You'll see. To boot the CD, fail safe mode, uh, resolution selection, hard drive, or you can choose a the mem test again. We're gonna go with booting the actual CD. Okay, now you get to this screen. I'm just gonna hit enter to accept. There's no hard drives installed, so of course it, it didn't find anything. So as if you have an active internet connection it will ask if you want to start the update I'm gonna hit no so I can show you how to update it just from the menu okay so this is the main menu for the AVG scanner you see a quick scan uh, you can configure scan advanced and you'll see shutdown we're gonna go to advanced and this is where you can go down here to manually update it if you wanted to you can also create a little flash drive from this if you wanted to. It has various utilities. You can show different things here. 
Um, to update it, you would just click on that right there. You can choose to update it from the internet connection um, offline if you download the uh, definitions and stored it somewhere. Um, what we're going to do is do an online update. And I'm showing you this just to show you that it actually does uh, update the virus definitions. And as you can see, the update was successfully completed. We can just hit enter for continue. We can go to return. And now we can go back up here and either do a quick scan or a full scan if we wanted to. All right, so we're going to restart this. Okay. Let's check out the Kaspersky. I'm going to press enter. I'm going to press enter again for English. I'm going to hit 1 to accept. And you can choose either graphics mode, text mode. You can check out hardware info, boot from the hard disk, or you can just reboot or shut down. We're going to click on graphics mode. Okay, so we're into the disk now. As you can see, it says databases are obsolete down here, so you can go over here and you can choose to update the definitions if you want to. I'm not going to show you because I've already showed you that with AVG it will update, but do keep in mind that Kaspersky will only work if you've burned it to a disk. Um, if you've used the uh, tool that I recommended, Rufus, to install uh, this Pineapple Lite version to a flash drive or jump drive, um, the Kaspersky doesn't seem to like the whole file management system, so it won't work from a flash drive. But if you if you burned it to a disk, then it'll work just fine. Um, but you would just update, and you could choose what to scan. Just hit start. It also gives you this nice little interface so you could manage files if you wanted to. As network setup, terminal, web browser, if you want to get online, check some things, um, take a screenshot. So it has a few nice little tools already built into it. Okay, we're back to the menu now. Let me show you the offline NT password registry editor. Now this is pretty straightforward. Um, you literally just follow the instructions on here. Um, so for right here, you would literally just hit enter. Um, I'm not going to run it for the simple fact of there's no OS installed, so it would just error out and show that there wasn't anything on there, um, which it automatically loaded see kernel panic not sinking attempting to kill because there's there's nothing installed okay so we're back to the main screen let me show you the partition wizard you can choose to boot it regularly safe mode compatible mode or just go ahead and boot back we're going to choose just regular mode Okay, you can choose which one you want to go with, so I'm just going to go with number one, the default driver. And this is a really, really nice tool. It will show you all the hard drives that you have listed here. Um, you can migrate your OS to a solid state or just a regular. You can copy a partition or copy the whole disk uh, recover a lost partition you can rebuild the master boot record of a, of a disk um, 
initialize GPT, you can do surface test, so you can test the hard drive. Uh, again, you can do a partition recovery. You can either you can wipe the disk. That's something you'd want to do if you were donating it to someone or just wanted a fresh hard drive in with it so that nobody could uh, recover any of your data, show its properties, or convert MBR to GPT. All very, very awesome things that you could do here. Um, great for uh, backing up, copying, just managing your disk in general. Lots of nice little tools here. I know a whole lot of people love, love, love Acronis, and it's awesome. And some people actually use Gparted, um, which is an open sourced one. Uh, I really, really love this one. It has a really nice interface. And that's it. That's all the tools on the light version. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope that it helped you see what was provided on this disk. Um, the link for this for the page will be in the description below. Um, I really, really hope you all enjoy it. Thanks a lot. Look at those eyes. There's an employee with a healthy case of the go get -ems. Hear that lion's roar of determination. Thank you.